Radio Gloucestershire, well done on your first um, Cheltenham goal today. It, it was a rough and tumble to kind of game though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a tough game, but we knew if we stuck to our game plan, we would come out winning the game because I think we've got a lot more than them in their squad. And you can start to see it now with the new squad we've got together and it's, it's coming along good to it. How much of the goal could you see from the shot? Was it literally a, a, a postage dump that you could put it in? Yeah, just seen the gap and uh, just thought it hidden in it and lucky enough it went in. I mean, there was a chance later in the first half too where you tried to go across the keep, which that didn't appear to miss the post by much either. Nah, no, I thought that was unlucky as well. Just try to bend it around the keeper. Seen the far corner open and I try to put it in there, but I was wishing it went in, but unfortunately it didn't. But I'm just glad we got the win in the end. Well, it certainly started quite forcefully, didn't they? And Scott Brown had to make a series of good saves in the first half, either side of the goal. Yeah, big mention to Scott Brown. He was unbelievable today, so he was. I thought he was our man in the match. He made a penalty save and all. He just. He was like the main man for us today, so he was, he was brilliant. Uh, James Rowe obviously was involved in, in the tangle for the penalty. There was a lot of discussion between, certainly between Will and the referee. Was that because, was it a foul or was it that you thought it wasn't actually in the box? I th it was a harsh one, so it was, a, I didn't think it was a penalty, but the referee blew his whistle, he pointed outside the box and then his hand led him inside the box. So everyone was thinking like, what's going on here? But I think in the end, obviously, the referee's not going to change his mind, but I thought it was harsh, harsh on James Rowe. Although, in the end, perhaps Callum Kennedy gave away where the kick was going because his run-up was really short, and you thought, well, he's only going to side-foot it from there. Yeah, um, his run-up wasn't the best. I think a few of the lads were trying to put him off before he was going up the head of um, penalty. I think that got on his head a bit, but no, it was a great save by Scott Tullis. And after then Scott, uh, after Carl Stora came on and, and James Rowe went off, was, was the feeling then that you were trying to more manage the game at 1-0 than perhaps chase the second goal that would absolutely seal it? Yeah, definitely. I um, thought um, came on and done really well. So he did, he slatted in there nice and done brilliant. Even James as well, he had a really good game. I thought all the lads were terrific today. And it was a brilliant assault. It was the assault we wanted and we needed. How big a result is this? I mean, it, it, it's only three points the same as any other, but you've just you've just dented the chances of a team around you, haven't you? Yeah, massive. I think they need to win three games on the bounce now, and we need to lose three games. It's that massive of a bigger gap. So it is, but uh, it was brilliant to get the win in the end, and everyone's chuffed in the team's room. So that's two back-to-back -back wins with clean sheets, with a win against Yeovil at home without conceding, and a win today without conceding, and you've now got two home games. So the, the next week, it's a big opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We're going to build in it. We'll take them two games with one and bring it into Tuesday night against Carlisle. They're thick to go up, so it'll be a really tough game. But I think we're more capable. If you see, we've beat the likes of Luton, who's up there, and Plymouth, where we're hard done by. I thought we were the better team in that game. But now nah, we, we won't fear anyone in this league. So we won't. And is there a, is there a sort of adrenaline and an energy coming from the fact that you have put in two winning performances? Yeah, definitely. So there is just lifting the spirits up. So it is around the training ground and that, and that everyone knows. Everyone knows what jobs I have to do. They go out in the pitch to do it, and we'll win the game. That's what I'm Thanks for your time. No worries. Carl, highs and lows of football last week. You you were very ill at half time, weren't you? And yeah. You know, how, how, what was it? How, how bad did you feel? Yeah, I felt really bad. Well, I got the kick to the head, and I felt a bit dizzy in the game. My, my man was spinning a bit, but I wanted to play on. Then the second half, it came out. The next thing I just had a fat family feeling in my stomach and I just started being sick on the pitch and then straight away the lads went over and told the manager and they couldn't risk it like that to bring me off straight away but I was in a bad place after the game on Saturday like, so it was really bad but yeah. the day <laughs> cheered me up a bit getting the goal and the win the win was the most important thing so it was the day as you said wins the gap between us two I think Newport lost the win as well so the day so that's even bigger so Brilliant, so it was. Yeah, was it ever in doubt that you played today, or when did you sort of pass yourself fit or well enough to play? Um, maybe at the start of the week it was in a bit of a doubt, but I'd like to thank Gav, the physio, for getting me fit for the game today. He worked really hard with me, he had me in on my days off working with me, and we knew once Wednesday, Wednesday once I'd done a bit of CV work, that I would be fine for the game. Yeah, you scored one for Oldham this season, which was a last minute equaliser, yeah. I think, so you don't, you don't score uh, non important goals, do you? No, <laughs> really, yeah, every goal is important to me, but. I need a my goal score record in the best, so I need to get a few more goals. So then hopefully I'll kick start it there. Yeah, and that, that's the role you want to be playing, is it? Because you played a bit on the right wing, yeah, you're, you're almost up front like, at Stevenage. And yeah, I like in the middle and the free because I can get up and down, support, help out. But 
Yeah, it's my natural position in there. In how, how much better does it feel now after those two wins? I mean, is it taking the massive uh, load ma- off everyone's shoulders? Massive, massive load. We knew the M2 games would be massive for us, we said that. If we get the six six points out of the M2, it'd be, be unbelievable. And luckily, we have the, the talent in the squad that can do it, and we showed it in both games. Yeah, well done, Winnie. Well done. All right, thanks, Cheers.